Hey guys, if you've watched my previous video on how to get your credit report or your credit score from a credit bureau here in the Philippines, then this video is for you. Kasi for today naman, I'm going to tell you guys kung paano mo naman may increase ang iyong credit score. So hey everyone, if you're new here, hi, I am Oshin and I make videos on personal finance, tech reviews, lifestyle hacks, and whatnots. So if you got your credit report from CIBI or any other credit bureaus here in the Philippines, you might be curious kapag nag-send sila ng email, merong pinapadala sa'yo na scoring system. So yung scoring system na yun, it's called the MyScore. So basically, MyScore is a number that represents the credit worthiness of an individual based on his or her multiple credit data that is submitted through the Credit Information Corporation or the CIC. So my score is actually based on FICO's credit scoring system. So if you're wondering kung ano ba yung FICO, so FICO or the Fair and Isaac Corporation is a data analytics company na nag-create no scoring system or no credit scoring system that we currently have right now. So yung FICO score nag-range siya from 300 to 850 wherein 300 is the lowest and 850 is the highest. So kung curious ka kung ano yung scale no FICO scoring system, I will put it here. Yep, so that you can see it. So your credit score is extremely important if you are someone na gustong magkaroon ng big ticket loans from a bank such as home loans or car loans kasi dun ginigage ng mga banks kung gaano ka ba katiwa-tiwala or gaano ka ka-trustworthy na magbabayad ka ng utang mo. So yung isa pang advantage din ito is that if you have a high credit score, banks or any other organized financial institutions can give you lower interest rates kapag nag-apply ka ng loan sa kanila. So, ibig sabihin kasi, ay, alam naman natin na nagbabayad to. So, low risk ka. So, okay lang na bigyan ka ng low interest rates. Tracking also your credit score would give you good leverage then kapag nag-apply ka dun sa ating favorite bank product, which is credit cards. Minsan kapag mataas yung credit score mo, there's a higher chance also that banks will offer you their good cards or cards with higher perks or benefits. Well, except lang yung mga black ones probably kasi the black ones are only being given by invitation and they're not usually applied. So now, here are my top 5 tips on how you can increase your credit score. So the first one is to actually have a good mix of credit types and hopefully they are in good standing. So this accounts to actually 10% contribution to your credit score. And so if you have different credit lines, then most likely, mas mataas yung credit score mo. So ano ba yung mga iba't ibang klase ng credit lines, di ba? Credit cards, postpaid plans, yun mga home loans, car loans. So if you have a mix of that, then most likely, mas mataas yung credit score mo. A mix of different credit card types is actually expected of people who already have a longer credit history and it helps to show na experienced borrower ka na nagbabayad ka ng utang mo on time and in full. So if you're someone who's early in the credit game, then do not expect to have a high credit score. Pero actually, okay lang yon. Yung importante is that you would be able to build your credit score as early as now. And my advice for you is that if you want to build your credit score, what you can do first is mag-apply ka muna ng secured credit card. So if you're curious what a secured credit card is, hindi siya yung mga common na credit cards that are being offered here in the Philippines na mag apply ka lang tapos mag ka kung ma-approve ka or hindi. Yung secured credit cards, these are credit cards na may collateral. Meaning, either mag open ka ng, for example, time deposit or ng savings account sa isang bank. Tapos kapag yung bank, if they offer a secured credit card product, pwede mong applyan yun. So mangyayari, yung collateral nila is either yung time deposit mo or yung savings account. And then nakahold yun sa kanila for a certain period of time. So sometimes it's 6 months or 1 year, depende sa bank then usually yung credit limit na ibibigay sa yo if you're applying for a secured credit card is 80 to 90% of the amount that you deposited on that bank. 
So a lot of Philippine banks are actually offering secured credit cards. So just go to your nearest branch and then inquire from there. So my second tip is for you to not apply to loans or credit cards frequently or simultaneously. So alam nyo ba that every time na nag apply kayo ng credit card or ng loans, yung mga banks, ang tawag nila dito is inquiries. Yung mga banks, uh, every time na nag inquire sila sa mga credit bureaus ng inyong credit history or ng credit report, so nire-record yun ng mga credit bureaus and then your score is being deducted. I'm not sure kung ilang points, pero what I'm sure of is that minamainus yun every time na merong mga banks na nag inquire sa mga credit bureaus ng credit history mo. So the reason for this is that it gives the impression that an applicant is actually eager to have money from banks. Yung mga inquiries na to, this actually accounts to 10% of your credit score. And also according dun sa isang famous na YouTuber, si Andre Jake, in the US, it would actually take an estimate of two years bago maalis yung mga inquiries dun sa mga credit reports ng mga tao every time na nag apply sila ng credit. So my third tip is to have a longer credit history as much as you can. Yung credit history mo, it actually accounts to 15% of your credit score. So a longer credit history will definitely give you a higher credit score. And truthfully speaking, medyo advantage to dun sa mga medyo bata pa because a younger person will generally have a lower credit score than who's already been playing this credit game for so long, which is quite understandable. But despite this, a person naman with a short credit history can still get a high credit score if he or she would show dependable credit management. So my fourth tip naman is to minimize your credit utilization. So the amount of money that you owe a bank determines if you are worth the risk for banks. For example, meron kang credit limit na 100,000 pesos. Kahit binigyan ka ng bank na 100,000 pesos na credit limit, it doesn't mean na kailangan mo siyang i-max out. Pero except na lang uh, if you can use these for installment schemes. Mukhang pwede. Basta every month, kailangan hindi mo minamax out yung credit limit mo. So if you are someone na minamaximize yung credit limit nila, so yun nga, balik tayo dun sa 100,000 pesos na example, your credit score can still be deducted, you know, even if you're able to pay the amount, and this would be very detrimental to you. According to Experian, which is an American credit bureau, it is ideal for you to use your total credit limit of up to 30% lang per month so that banks would not be alarmed that you utilize your credit too much. Pero sinasabi ng mga ibang financial experts that it's actually more ideal to spend na 10% lang instead of 30% ng iyong credit limit. And in fact, your credit utilization is 30% of your total credit score. So my last tip and probably the most important is to always pay on time and in full. So a history of on-time payments helps improve your credit score. And your payment history includes information on various account types such as um, credit cards, yun nga, retail accounts, tsaka yung mga installment loans mo, as well as any adverse public records. So, kung nag-file ka ng personal bankruptcy or ng foreclosures, yes, may record yun sa credit history mo. So, mm, we do not want that. Guys, importante talaga na nagbabayad ka on time and in full kasi 35% yun ang credit score mo. Kahit pa piso yan, kahit late ka lang ng isang araw, so, once na malit ka, may record agad yun dun sa credit history at maapektuhan yung credit score mo. And we do not want that. Especially for those na may credit cards. Kasi credit cards are the most unsafe kind of credit na meron sa market. Meaning, mataas kang risk ng banks na maluge when they issue credit cards. Kasi, di ba, parang ang dali lang. You're given a small piece of plastic and then you use it as money and then nakacharge yun sa banks. Hindi naman sa'yo agad eh kahit pabayaran mo siya. Basta, do not skip, okay? Kasi if you intend to skip payments, eh, wag ka nalang mag-credit card. Kaya kahit piso pa yan, please pay them on time and in full. Kung pwede mo nga lang siyang bayaran na, kunwari, 
charge mo yung credit card mo ng 200 pesos today. Tapos, mababayaran mo naman siya online yung charge na 200 pesos. Gawin mo na, wag mo nang intayin yung billing cut-off date or yung deadline ng payment mo. Kasi para at least, wala na, hindi mo na siya isipin. Tsaka, in fact, kapag the more na binabayaran mo nga siya, so mas nag improve din yung credit score mo. Okay, so that's it for our video. So, I hope you guys have learned something. Uh, actually, hindi masyadong popular yung topic ng credit score and credit reports dito sa Philippines. And kahit ako mismo, I'm still learning in the process. But I'm super happy that I'm sharing this to you guys. Kasi I also want everyone, especially my subscribers, na maging financially literate and to be wise on using their own money. So with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do not forget to press the like button and comment down below what you think of. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button beside it so that you will be notified whenever I have a new video. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye! So a longer credit history will definitely give you a, a higher credit. Uh, so definitely a longer credit. Maybe